guys doing and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing a haul I'm always excited when I do hauls because I get to show the things that are new or in current that I'm you know actually getting so the majority of this haul is gonna be from Colourpop Cosmetics I'm such a hoarder of Colourpop Cosmetics and recently they launched their fall line so they had about 10 new eyeshadows they had six lippy sticks and they also had six lip liners and i think they had two blushes i nearly scored the whole line so i got about seven eyeshadows i got five of the lippy sticks and then i also got three of the lip liners and i got two of the blushes so i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff i did get from that line and i'm also going to show you some of the stuff that i did get that weren't limited edition or a collection i did get a couple more of the ultra matte lip sticks and they're actually behind me right now color actually came out with eight whole new of their ultra matte lip shades and i really really wanted to like try the the new ones because they look so kind of unique so i did get this color it's called kapow and this color is such a gorgeous gorgeous absolutely stunning color and i'm telling you when this goes on your lips it changes color so what you see is not in the tube that is like mostly with these lippy lip ultra matte lip they actually change color they don't go on the lips the way it looks like in the tube the next color is called bedazzled i actually watched ck she and her daughter did a lip swatch and they were the one that convinced me to get this color it looked absolutely stunning on her daughter it was so beautiful on her i had to have my hands on it. the next color i have here um is called guess it's a really really dark 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 purple beeper is another color from the new line it's like a really really beautiful nude this is a absolutely stunning from the old line i got lychee that's another beautiful color and this is called sunday it's another beautiful color then the last new one i actually got is called driving so now let's stop talking about that and let's get on to the eyeshadows that i picked up from the fall collection so these eyeshadows were so stunning they were so unique i had to get my hands on it and this one is called boy band so this is an absolutely stunning color it looks like a bronze it's so beautiful as you guys can see it is absolutely pigmented so this is called boy band oh my god guys this color called stereo actually fell out on its own and the thing about ColourPop that really annoys me is that when you have a problem with their product they don't give you a refund they don't even send you another one they literally tell you that well since their products are cheap you have to deal with it so I'm gonna try and pack this back and like press it back in I'm literally just trying to pack what I can but I can show you the color so you guys can see. I already have a lot on my brush. This is so stunning. Like, I'm so annoyed. I'm going to have to get another one because I collect these eyeshadows and I don't want my eyeshadow to be broken. Like, it's literally broken out of the pan. I did not break it. You guys saw that on camera. So, I do not know what to do. Like, ColourPop is so annoying when it comes to that. The last time I did send them a message about a situation with one of my um, lipsticks having cracked or they said they couldn't do nothing about it. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'm going to just take a photo and like let them see what happened because my whole floor is messed up and seriously, this is, should not happen. Like I should not just open a shadow that I haven't touched and have it break on me. So that's just ridiculous. Anyway, moving on. Let's hope the other shadows don't do the same thing because I'll be really pissed. If they mess with me, I'm going to stop buying from them. So this is another one. It's called Straight Trippin'. This is stunning. Like, this color sold out too. It is so beautiful. It's like, it's like a really, really plumbed out brown. It's so, so stunning for fall. The next color is called Mixtape. This is another matte color. Oh, it's such a beautiful gray. Uh, not a gray I won't call it a gray I'll call it a taupe that's it right here it's called mixtape this next eyeshadow is called central perk it sounds like central park but it's not central park it's central perk a very lighter version of straight tripping that's the color right there it's such a stunning color another eyeshadow that is so stunning is called plaid 
it's actually a matte eyeshadow but it has like gold flecks in it oh my god these shadows are such oh look at that that is a very beautiful green like i can't wait for me to do looks with this because i know the looks are gonna be so beautiful like so this is gonna be the final shade and this one is called party time oh i think this is the taupe that i was talking about the other one is a gray this is actually a taupe doesn't this color kind of remind you of the the ultra matte of kapow it's like a kapow in an eyeshadow form so it looks really really similar and yeah this is the last shade in this whole collection to be honest there are only a couple of shimmer shades which is not bad and there's a lot of matte shades there and satin shades so this collection is really really nice um the blushes this blush it's called never been kissed it's like a coral pinky color that's never been kissed right here it's really pretty the next blush that i i actually haven't used this blush before it's called cruel intentions oh god um this one is like an everyday blush it's gonna be everyday it's right there and if you're light this will be so beautiful in your skin tone i think i could still pull it off so like as you guys can see now it's on to the lippy sticks and the lippy pencils all of the lippy sticks didn't disappoint me except one color old snap i didn't want to get that because i felt that that color would be super super pale on my skin and i probably am right so i did get the colors that i know i was going to be familiar with that's going to look good on me and all these colors probably would look good on me and all of them are matte so that's a good thing this one is called poison really really stunning color the next one is called grunge I'm actually putting the lippy liners beside it. They actually practically look almost identical. The lippy liners for Poison and Grunge. This color is called Nevermind and the lippy stick is actually on the bottom. So they're practically identical. The next color we have is called Dazed. And here's the lippy, lippy stick and this is the lippy pencil. Now the lip liner I didn't get were Old Snap and Contempo. So the last color on my hands is called Contempo. Contempo is just a pretty, like, dusty rose color. It will be very suitable for every skin tone. I just didn't want the lippy liner because it looked ashy on me. So the lippy liner I just got in place of that was called Feminist. It's a really dark purple. It reminds me of Vino from MAC. So I got that one. Next, we're going to look into the miscellaneous things I got. So I decided to get some House of Lashes because I have been looking into them for so long. I've been like trying to get them, but they're kind of pricey. I'm actually wearing the one that I got and it's called Iconic. And that's the one I'm wearing right now. It is so like flirty and everything. I love it so much. I got some Benefit products. I got the professional full size I did have it in like the smaller version and I decided to get the full size because I believe it's worth it and I want to use it keep using it all the time and then I also got the benefit roller lash mascara I've had a lot of good things about it this came in a two set for the same price so I have a travel size and I also have the full size and then I also got the Becca cosmetics ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation i haven't used it yet this is in tobacco if you guys are interested in my shade that's what i got and then i also got the strivectin advanced retinol pore refiner and it's also like a primer it's not gonna like hold your makeup in place but it's also gonna mattify your skin and it's also gonna reduce your pores over time so i'm still trying that one out and then i also got the borghese blush this is really, I don't even know what to say. It's a pretty nice blush. It's gonna be like an everyday blush for my skin tone. That's how that looks like. And the blush is called Flight. So that's the name of the blush. I also got some Sasha Cosmetics. They owe me a lipstick and I'm gonna actually message them like tomorrow about the lipstick. I was supposed to get a free lipstick with my purchase and they didn't put anything in there so I don't understand what's going on so I got an eyeshadow 
trio in fiery ember let me actually swatch because i've not i don't know the pigmentation of these shadows that's a good sign so that's the eyeshadow trio right there they're really pigmented so really 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 happy about that and then i also got their blush in perfect wendy this is actually a stunning color it's so pretty it's super pigmented so i would be careful if I was to get the shade, yeah. Then MAC released their Miley Cyrus 2 lipstick. And this lipstick came really fast. Seriously, like, I didn't expect it. Let's test this lipstick. I believe this lipstick reminds me of something, but I don't have it, so I'm not bothered with it. Can you guys tell me what this lipstick color reminds you of? Like, something from the MAC collection? Look at it very well. Doesn't this lipstick remind you of Lady Danger? You guys do your judge. Like, this is the color right here. It reminds me of Lady Danger, I swear to God. The other thing from Sasha, I forgot to say, that I had to really get was the reason why I purchased this much stuff because I only wanted this. I didn't want the other stuff, but I do absolutely love the blush and I'm gonna get more. And I do love the trio. Oh God, Jacqueline. Like, I should have listened to you when you first came out with this review on Sasha. Went there, buttercup setting powder. Like literally, I should have hopped on it right then and there, not wait ugh, a year after and then decide to get it. This stuff is amaze balls. Like seriously, I have it on now. I didn't. I did not bake. I did not do anything. I just put it on with my beauty blender, and this stuff literally melts in the skin. Like it is photo flash friendly. I even have an Instagram of me with this makeup. I mean, it's up right now, but. You can tell that my face doesn't look like I have cake under. This is the bomb.com. I'm going to keep using this, keep buying more, and like keep using it, as I said. The last two items I got were from Victoria's Secret. Of course, probably I have to shop there every single time because I work there. Every single time I have to buy something. So I got their Eau de Toilettes. It's their VS Fantasies. This one is called Passion Struck. Oh my god, this smells so, so freaking yummy. And then I also got Secret Escape. Oh, this is... I, I think I like Secret Escape more than Passion Struck. But this smells amazing. Like, it smells really, really good. Like, literally, like, you would want to eat your skin when you have this on. I think that's it. That's it for the haul. It's not a big haul, but ColourPop really took much of the haul. Like, if you guys wanted me to do my ColourPop collection, because I did get a lot of shadows, to be honest. I have a lot of shadows from ColourPop. I have probably about 20 eight more shadows than the ones I just got and um, I was thinking maybe I should do a color pop collection video so that I can kind of give you guys an idea of uh, colors that you want to get and also I have about maybe three blushes three more blushes and three highlighters that I that you guys don't know I have so if you guys wanted me to do a video like that showing you um, my color pop collection and also the ultra matte lips maybe you want me to show you guys colors and swatches um, just let me know because the ultra matte lipstick um, to be honest guys I seriously don't want to put all these lipsticks on my lip and I know you guys have seen a ton of these videos so it's gonna be redundant for me to do one also and the fact that these things are really really matte like the ones I have on my lips they're like if you take it off it, your lips will start burning not literally but imagine you doing that three times your lips will burn so please bear with me that I can't do that seriously I hate swatching liquid matte lipsticks if it's just a matte lipstick it's okay but not a liquid matte lipstick if you want to see me create a look with the new Viva Glam from Miley Cyrus um just let me know because I I am thinking of a couple of looks or thinking of combining some of the color pop in with the orange lip because I was thinking maybe that would look um, really stunning. So I do have something cooked up with that. Thank you guys again for your love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!